You know, I've seen a lot in my time, but never have I come across a more dim-witted bunch of misfits in one class the whole time I've been running this course. You all saunter in here with no regard for time. You squabble, you argue, you insult each other and me. And frankly, I've had enough. If you want to know the honest truth, this business is crumbling because of morons like you. And if I seem a bit grumpy at times, that's why. Thank you. Thank you. This week we're looking at monologues. That was an example of a short monologue. Okay, ready guys? Action. So much. I'm really sorry, but uh can I go grab a burger with you? Why not, Bart? What are you doing, Remco? Canvassing the joint. Canvassing the joint. Case for ex-boyfriends on my case. Not that it matter. I've got a black belt in karate. I'm fully trained in pretty much every fire I'm under the sun. Uh, semi-auto handguns, fully rock and roll machine guns, you name it. Don't read between the lines. There's no boyfriend casing you. Well, I'm trying to find a reason why I want to grab Burger with Marge. I'm now looking for the motivation and scratching beneath the surface. Just keep it straight. It's nothing to do with an ex-boyfriend. He needs a backstory. And you need some manners. Now try it again. Action. <clears throat> So Marge, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to grab burger with you. Why not, Bart? What are you doing with your eyes? <sighs> exactly what you said, I'm keeping it straight. Okay, action. So Marge, I'm really sorry, but I can't go grab a burger with you. Why not, Bart? I'm all less ghetto. Less ghetto. The head bobble, the head shake. I deliver the line perfectly straight. You girls just don't get it. Someone translate for her. I, hang on a minute, are you referring to my colour? Merely giving constructive feedback. So, Marge, I'm really sorry, but I can't go grab a burger with you. Why not, Bart? Do you need a glass of water? No, why? Do it again. So, Marge, I'm really sorry, but I can't go grab a burger with you. Why not, Bart? What are you doing? I'm doing Marge. Right, okay. All right, let's try it again in a proper voice and add a bit of emotion. And Ben, try to imagine what it's like to be a man. Bought in a real knife for authenticity. Jesus, that's a heavy duty knife, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've got several of them. Why do you have knives? Why do you have knives for cutting things up? Okay. Action. Red rum. Oh my god, you scared me. Not yet. He needs to say it a few times, build up the suspense. You said action, make up your mind, miss. You're taking me out of the moment. Red rum. Are you thirsty? You can't have rum. It's not a drink for children. No, what would, what would you see in the mirror? Red rum. In the mirror. Her face? No. She'd see the words red rum spelt backwards and be scared. Why? What does the words red rum spell backwards? Think about it. Rum red? What does it spell backwards? Red. Murder! So, what'd you make of the scene, Lachlan? Um, well, it's a bunch of lines between two actors. Yeah, we know that, but what's the scene about? You don't know what the scene's about. How can you not know what it's about? You did read it. Yeah, well, I read my lines. 
you didn't read the other characters' lines, the other dialogue. I mean, you said pick a character and learn their lines. I didn't know you had to learn the other person's lines as well. That's just ridiculous. Right? Okay, action. My dad used to kick the shit out of me if he saw me cry. But I didn't hold it against him. It made me strong. It made me who I am today. Harvey, I can't see your face. Okay. I'll try it again. Yeah. My dad used to kick the shit out of me if he saw me cry. But I didn't hold it against him. It made me strong. It made me who I am today. Harvey, now I can't see his face. Well, move the camera. That would never happen on a real set. Hey, look, when I worked on Skippy the Bush Kangaroo, right? They were happy to move the camera. They were real professionals. All right, just leave the camera there. We'll just move the chair, right? That means your supporting character won't be on camera now. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just move the camera. I got your number! I got your ass! You will not smile, you will not cry, you will learn by the book, I will teach you! Now get up! Get up on your feet! If you fuck this up, I swear to God, I'll unscrew your head and shit down your neck! Don't know that one. Full metal jacket. Karen, don't just stand there. You're drawing attention to yourself. It's breaking the whole focus of the scene. And you're too close to the other actors. Try it again. Karen, you're not fitting in. Well, parties and I don't mix. If I was going to a party, I'd just be standing alone and texting. Okay, look, does, uh, let's just change the setting, okay? You're now at a party for the Queen, yeah? Remco, what are you doing? Looking for bugs. Bugs. We're not in a jungle. Hidden microphones, recording devices, things like that. It's a royal event. Security is a primary factor. Buongiorno. How did you sleep? Would you like breakfast now? Buongiorno. How did you sleep? Would you like some breakfast now? No. Listen carefully. Buongiorno. Bon giorno. No, you gotta roll the R. Brrr, bon giorno. Bon. Jovi. Oh my god, I love Bon Jovi. Oh my god. Roger, what are you doing home? I was fired, so I'm looking for a new job. Are you kidding me? They can't fire you. You're the best they have. Okay, good. Create an action, but don't just stand there. Um, what action? Whatever's suggested in the lines. Uh, he's looking for a new job, so what could he be doing? Didn't Janice teach you guys how to use props? Well, she said not to create any unnecessary backstory. Roger, what are you doing at home? I was fired, so I'm looking for a new job. Are you kidding me? They can't fire you. You're the best they have. Are you chewing gum? Are you chewing gum? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. No, he's asking you if you're chewing gum. M-Y-O-B-W, Peter, mind your own beeswax. Can't you see I'm in the moment? Right, again from the top. <laughs>